All right, here we have lesson 2-9. Lesson 2-9 is called Solving One-Step Inequalities by Adding or Subtracting. But we're going to start by reviewing something we did in lesson 2-5, and that's uh, solving equations by adding or subtracting. Now, let's start. Let's take a look at this one. If we have m plus 7 equals negative 3, our goal is to get that variable by itself. We want to get the m get rid of anything else that's hanging out with the M so that we just have left the M. We don't worry about this negative 3 over here. Find the variable, look at what's hanging out with it. Okay, We're not interested in the negative 3 at this point. We look here, we have a plus 7. What's the opposite of plus 7? How do we get rid of plus 7? By subtracting 7. So minus 7 here. If we do it on one side, we have to do it on the other side as well. Remember, an equation is kind of like a teeter-totter. We have to keep it balanced. So we subtract 7 on this side. Simplify. Bring down what we've got. We have m equals negative 3 minus 7. I'm 3 in the hole. I'm going 7 more in the hole. So now I'm at negative 10. Okay. Now, what does this have to do with today's section? Well, if I just did this... I have today's section, okay? Exactly the same stuff, except rather than the equal signs coming down, I've got inequality symbols coming down, okay? Otherwise, it's exactly the same as what we've done before. Let's take a look at an, another example here. Let's say we have x minus 5 is greater than, how about 17? Okay, first step, find the variable. There it is. We've got an x. What's hanging out with the x? Ignore this other stuff right now. What's hanging out with the x? A minus 5. How do we get rid of a minus 5? Do the opposite. Opposite of minus 5 is plus 5. Add 5 on this side. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, of course, this cancels out. Okay, that's our goal so that we get that x all by itself coming down here. So we have x. Bring down our inequality just as it sits. We have greater than 17 plus 5 is 22. There we go. Simple as that. Okay. Then they ask us to graph these as well. So we can graph them. Make our little graph. This is what we did in uh, the previous section. So we have 22 in the middle one less, 21, one more, 23, so we've got that. Then we're going to make our circle at 22. It's going to be an open circle because it's just greater than, and we're going to draw our line going to the right. These numbers should work, 23, put it in, 23 is greater than 22, that works. We could also take that 23, put it back here, 23 minus 5 is... 18. 18 is greater than 17. Hopefully that uh, gets you there. It's pretty straightforward. Um, if uh, lesson 2-5 went well, then this lesson should go well um, in the same way because it's very similar. The only difference is now we have that inequality symbol.